Hello, this is I seen you before playing Dominions 4 as early aged Derodos in our single player nation guide. So first battle is in Winter Peaks and it didn't exactly go as planned. As you see the AI decided to cheat once again and add on a bunch of units as province defense. <clears throat> One thing I didn't calculate is that the Melias will have a few difficulties against those Wing Riders since they are enchanted at attack 2 and defense 3. They still did a great job at taking them out nonetheless. But as you can see, he's receiving a lot of hits from them. I'm amazed that the Mist, home, the mist Form was able to save her for so long. In fact, it's at um, an HP of 3 that she actually routes right here, uh, our Wind Melia. Otherwise, our troops ended up getting shot to death. We did rout the enemy. And unfortunately, as this Melia was heading in there to get rid of our last few enemies, she got overwhelmed. <coughs> Let's make it a bit slow. As you can see through here, she's blocking all those attacks with her defense skill. And unfortunately, her fatigue is increasing really high. Meanwhile, the our free is actually three times stronger than what you get with a dominion candle at nine so as you can see right there she's actually resisting a lot of hits see that she survived a whole round just there but then again she won't be able to do it for one more round and dies to a critical hit due to having a fatigue of 81 right now but uh, it, it's okay when you play as Terodos to lose your Melia Fugs because when you think of it, it's just 165 gold with 4 magic gems apparently. 2 earth gems for the Girdle of Might and 2 water gems for the Frostbrand. And for most of my game as Terodos from starting underwater and also having a crap ton of earth majors available, you most likely always have earth and water gems around. So, a pretty good thug for 165 gold and um, two four gems is pretty good, in my opinion. And you're using your nation's strength to its best, and that's basically how you used your Melia as thugs just now. The other battle was a bit more successful, even though it was against a bit less units. But you you will get the basic you basically got a basic feel of how to use the Melia in this episode right there. Uh, meanwhile, Grey Forest, I believe our god was sent there. Here is our god. What's his name again? Demonax. With the Foul Vapors, and even though there's that many units, he's, he's not even gonna get hurt. Now that he has Stone Form, Stage and Skin, and Body Earth Rail, he's a pretty tough cookie to go down. First, he's at a fighting of 28, that will go down every turn by 3. Has Invulnerability from Stage and Skin. Also has Fear, R1, Ethereal-ness, and Mist Form. That's pretty hard to take down. <coughs> and the best of it is that our pretender doesn't even need to do any damage. Just take a look as the enemy dies from the fall papers and barely being able to scratch our pretender who is just receiving about one damage every time. Eventually towards the mid game you want to give him an item that gives him regeneration such as a Hydra skin armor or a ring of regeneration. And your 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 demigod your pretender is pretty much set for most stupid battles like that when there's no majors against him. I would not recommend using this against enemy armies though, as uh, your pretender can get a lot of horror marks straight to his face, and you can kiss him goodbye. But. That's only if the enemy is prepared and has astral that he will use horror mark, so otherwise he most likely will not do it. Meanwhile, Arcocephal is attacking us in Stone Grey Mountains. Here's a smaller example of how Amelia can just deal with the enemy right there. Just like 
here and here. Very nice supplement to the army, since that your spectral troops can sometimes fail to damage. And that's how Meliaz are used, pretty fast here. Hm. Would have been more epic if those Meliaz run this battle, but hey, we can't be too greedy right now. So, we still have one Melia with uh, one Mist Form gem right here. We're gonna send her back there. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we're gonna send her back there with our troops on fire closes. Those guys on hold and attack closes. Her on. Uh, actually, we'll go for. Air shield miss form blessing attack closes. Should be good enough. I believe she will be able to take out this province unless uh, they all fail, basically. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, I write, I forged those two items to give to a commander, which I completely forgot. It's okay, I'll just grab more troops from here. Give this commander those items to transfer off to our Melia. Our a free spectral philosopher spawned right here. I love when that happens. We get to give away our two girdle of mites to our Earth Kyberos. Um let's see if I can transfer all the units here directly. Yes I can. Alright, uh, we'll go in and reach your move on main army. Same thing with those two guys. Mm, meanwhile, we'll send him back there, send that guy back there. And let's bring this guy along to accompany us on our journey. And we'll give him a bunch of. Uh, We'll give him about four air gems to keep our Melias supplied, and we'll also give him about, let's say, eight earth gems for our Kyberos. Send him there, and same thing with our Kyberos. I'll probably script them on the next turn when I decide what I want to do with them, and when we have our Moors of the Earth. I'll just search those provinces for the time being and wait for the enemy. Meanwhile, we'll still rampage through the countryside right here. We'll actually rejoin with an army right there. This will be better if we can rejoin with an army. So she will be right here, and instead of attack closer, she will be on attack rearmost. She probably doesn't need the blessing anymore now. So yeah. That's it for this turn. Um, here's our pretender god. Let's up some province defense here and there. I could be greedy and jump there actually. We still have 47 HP. Uh, it's, it's best to not be too greedy right now. So I'll quietly just play around with the AI and maybe in favorable positions. Yeah, yeah I'll just do this. Meanwhile, those two mages are still side searching. Let us send this scout to see what's going on. I can finally build a laboratory here and we'll need to recruit another dactyl. And no dactyl with death has spawned yet. This is. You see, this is why I always said do not rely on the roulette. It's year three, early spring, so it might be about turn 36 right now. We've been recruiting dactyls for a long time, and from here we can see that we didn't get a single dactyl with death, and our only unit with death right now is our pretender. So when you're playing against human players, you should be really careful when fielding your pretender. When he dies, so goes away your one death, since you are unable to get a dactyl with death right now. Um, take away this. There's another quill for you. Let's see when all those guys forging. We still have frost brands, so go ahead, Mister. Forge me a girl of might. You should forge probably. Hmm. Okay, there's nothing to find here except one 
funny co-occurrence earlier, way earlier. Yeah. Send him back home and I really don't know what to do with this guy. I'll just send him here to preach or something. Okay. Forge one girdle of might. We'll forge another girdle of might. And leave that extra. We will forge... Uh, let's say a, a water lens because I'll probably end up sending one Hecate ride together with uh, my main army. One thing to note is that if we get lucky and get the Hecate ride with nature five, with nature four, we can build her a mace and hopefully try to cast more of the oak. Since we're unable to find any nature sites, on the other hand, that might not be such a good plan. Mm. Uh, what should I do next? I believe the next logical choice right after this would be heading straight to enchantment. To summon units. But, but, but. But, there's always a but. I could stop by Conjuration 5 to unlock Earth Elementals. Those are really handy when fighting against any human sized nations. Hmm. What do I think? Now, nah, we'll head for enchantment for now. Because we need to start replacing our spectral troops. Okay. Begin recruiting. Recruiting everywhere for a little bit. Let's get some scouts going to have an eye on our Cosephal right now. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, let's move. There we go. Well, it helps us have a better sight the enemy right now all right uh, that's it for turn 36 i believe all right and we're back for this turn let's see what's going on i believe arcocephal has finally figured out that it was a hoax and he broke our siege right there yep um meanwhile we're attacking jome which is this province with our Melia Ferg and seems that Arcocephal is running out of money to dump on province defense, so it's a good sign usually. Could also mean that the enemy is uh, just spent his money on other, other things. Alright, that's, that's perfect anyways. Let's see what's going on in our own range. I believe this is a battle sent by our pretender. Uh, no province defense. Will be an easy job for our pretender. Mm, yeah, pretty much. And yeah, all good. Case solved. And lastly, Arcocephal is attacking us in all giant woods. Uh, if I remember correctly, this province just had two province defense. The enemy seems to be sending um, a mercenary against us. Meanwhile, in Terodos, we found some gold bonus. Nice. We found um, a lot of gems once again. And growth and luck. That's good. For a place that's mostly deaf, we got plus three growth, so this place is actually growing. <laughs> um, let's see. Hmm. German is definitely building up his fortresses. Well, we got uh, about uh, let's see, two turns on this. Definitely send in some scouts. Oh, we got a free effort here. So we'll just tell him to call specters. Those two guys will wait until it's worth reinforcing. Mm. 
Sun and Blood Scout. Um, let's see what's going on here. Okay, here's an army that we need to reassemble and head straight towards uh, Arcocephal's capital. We are going to do this. Okay, first I'll transfer our freeze units. Here we go. Now we move on here. As for those units, so we will uh, transfer them back to the main area. Let's see. Deploy this one. Alright. like we'll be splitting troops it seems okay that's how it will look like um, let's see what is any options here nah that will have to do and I guess one of those commanders will need to come with us Meanwhile, I will need to give photos to our front line, which is her. Okay, so we give this to Pu Pulino. Yeah, Pulino. We have those items, Pulino. Yeah, it puts them at four morale. So yeah, that's pretty handy. Mm, okay. This guy can now go back here. We'll send in both units over there. Hmm. German is kind of annoying. Maybe our next target will be German right after Alcocephal. Okay, it's time to script our armies. So. Those guys here, uh, let's see, top here, second there, third there, fourth there. Hold an attack closes for everyone. Blessing Iron Skin attack rear most. Blessing Mist Form attack closes. Hold stay at the back, hold, hold stay at the back. Alright. Um, here's the bell tasks at the extremities here. On, uh, let's see. Put the bell dust on fire, closes both of them. And one lost Belta squad up here on uh, fire closes. These guys are on hold and attack. We are most uh, all right. Put the Kyberos on those little edges. Let's see. Summon of power. So it will cost him 20. It will put him at uh, 3 earth. So encumbrance of seven, he'll be at twenty-seven fatigue. But then he'll be at earth three, right? Correct. So another twenty-seven fatigue. We'll put him at about fifty-four. Another twenty-seven, and then we can finish it with more of the earth. I believe that will be a good script for both of those guys. And um, I'll actually have to give out uh, gems right now, which I completely forgot to do.
it basically means that after this he will pass out but uh, that's technically part of the plan hopefully he will wake up and cast the more severe and that's why we'll be moving it now otherwise we found a quicksand which gives us uh, some more earth income so we're not complaining since we're at peace at German I believe it's safe to side search here I'll increase the province defense to 2 and I will jump onto uh, Arcocephal before German decides to do anything I'll, I'll try to grab his throne right away because that was one of the main reasons why we're going for this um, otherwise let's see what we have forged we need two more frost friends this turn and um, did we ever get no we never got this dark door that has death Jesus Christ um, fortress will be ready here I believe it might be time to go for another Hmm. Fortress very soon, which I'll probably do over here. Um, meanwhile, we'll send our scouts in to deal with the enemy. Hmm. How old are this guy to forge? Uh, another girdle of might, actually. And um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see how many. Okay, we'll be able to get two Melia thugs out, and otherwise let's get more. Okay, actually it needs more Melias all over the place. Let's get more Melias all over the place actually then. Can get another Kyberos here, can get another Kyberos here. Get the Melia here, get the Melia there. Another Melia there. That way we'll be able to just throw in the items that we get right away. And that's it for this turn right here. Oh, those turns are actually taking longer than planned. Alright, since the turn hosting will take at least four minutes i believe it's better to end the recording right here and resume for the next episode thanks for watching everyone subscribe if you like the content that really helps us out here and see you for the next episode